most exciting new exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo this year is our Painted Dog Valley. You've probably heard about it and it's remarkable. As you can see, it gives them plenty of room to run around, putting in lots of different elements. At different times of day, you'll see them playing in the stream. You'll also see them up on that little crest. What's fun about that is even though they are securely kept in with great big walls, given the lay of the land, you can see them across, even from over on our deck where people can have lunch, and they can see some of the prey animals that are in another exhibit. Painted dogs historically were called cape hunting dogs or African wild dogs, but the name painted dog is a perfect one because they are the most colorful of all wild dog species. They also are a very endangered species. You see, they're extremely effective hunters. They're much like wolves, except that they live in East and Southern Africa rather than in the Northern hemispheres where our wolves live. I've been fortunate to see them in the wild, both in East Africa and down in Botswana and Southern Africa. They have human family values. That sounds crazy, but no kidding. It's all about their family. They sleep together. They have fun and yep and run around together. When you see a pack, if you're out on safari, if you can go really early morning and just be patient and quiet, when you see them start to wake up, it's just an amazing thing. Painted dogs are born to run. The reason they're such an effective hunter is not only that they're hunting in a pack, but also that even if the prey's faster than they are, that doesn't matter because they'll just keep running after them until they wear them down. When you come to the zoo, make sure to come to our new Africa exhibit and don't miss our Painted Dog Valley.